Okay. Uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, we would like to talk about the three-dimensional problem in the field of research and archaeological reconstruction. Our research is aiming to relieve models of complex three-dimensional structures and related geometric reconstruction problems. This presentation has different levels. A, description of the research topic. B, references. C, the research. D, conclusions. The object of the study is the Ninfeo Colonna in Genazzano, Italy. We are in Italy, in Lazio, in a town of 6,000 inhabitants, about 60 kilometers from Rome. And Genazzano was a strategic point connecting Rome, the capital, to the south of Italy. In the 15th century, Genazzano was made a cultural environment and a papal stronghold by the relationships with the Colonna's family. The building is uh, 48 meters long and uh, eight, um, sorry, 18 meters wide, with a height of about uh, 12 meters. The main elements is the loggia, is the number three, uh, composed of three archive facing to east, which is the main facade and the original <coughs> entrance. Three elements, called serliane, divided this space from absidal room. Number eight. No, number four, sorry. <clears throat> a, pas a passage located to south leads to the space where the current access is located. Number seven. The behind the absent room is elevated about one meter above the loggia. On the north side, there is a building body called the octagon. Inside there, there is a secret pool that in the past gave rainwater and water place. Because of, of this, this building was named Nymphaeo. In the first picture, uh, the facade. In the second, uh, the The upstairs room. Okay. Um, the particular shape of the structure and the lack of the lack of definite document search make commissioning, operation, and creator uncertain. Many academics attribute the central part of the Nymphaeum to Bramante or to some of his disciples. But what was but uh, what was Bramante? Leading artist of the Italian Renaissance. He has depended in architecture and painting, issues such as the optical illusion. We can see here in Santa Maria in San Satiro in Milan, the pictorial simulation of a space for the choir is not real. Even in Ninfeo, we can observe several perspective experience. For example, the different profile of the tribulation simulates a greater depth. The Bramante's opera are characterized by a certain proportion that guide the whole project both in the planimetric structure and in rising wall. Here we can see the application in the Nymphaeum and on the next slide in the project for San Peter in Rome. Thanks to the analysis of this proportion, we have the possibility to reconstruct the column height and pediment on the main east facade. The Bramante's opera are characterized, uh, no, sorry, in the, in the sign of St. Peter. Uh, you, may, um, you may notice a new wave of conceiving space, and in particular, the relationships between gaps and structure. Both in St. Peter, as well in the central part of the Nymphaeum, the gaps become the main elements for the project. So the Bramante sign in the Nymphaeum are using octagonal shape, using Cerulliana element, we, we can see here. This is the, uh, the tour of St. Peter. The conscious using the Toscanic order, perspective tricks, and typical wave of conceiving space. 
We don't know the original shapes of the lymphome due to the insufficient data documents and difficulties of scientific and geometric reconstruction. Here are some attempts to recreate the original buildings. The idea here, the, the first, the idea of Christoph Frommel, is just limited to the perspective drawings and has not anal analyzed the method of assessing the building. The second hypothesis by University Academy of Georgia is more imaginative and presents a frizz less likely for the time. The maximum of the, the three-dimensional research has been reached by Marina Doring in 1998, the first, which, however, did not assume any form of coverage. There are a few ex examples of three-dimensional reconstruction and 3D printing in this field. One of the few cases is a study by the University of Macerata in Italy, in central Italy. Here we can see the study and the possibility to uh, virtual reconstruction of all, uh, Urbis Albia temple. Our research consists in defining a standard uh, for integrating data capture methods rendering and 3D printing. The aim is solving geometric problems in historical reconstruction of archaeological goods. By this way, the artifacts has the possibility to be better recreated both its current state, the according of the historical reconstruction. How? Uh, we use uh, already adopted tools, but uh, in a new multidisciplinary methodology. Sorry. So, in the first step, we focused on historical and documentary research, analyzing archival documents. Here we see the historical developed patterns of the Nymphaeo, confirmed by archaeological surveys. The first phase is not dated, but it dates back to Roman times. This can be detected by some elements, such as the remains of the pavement in Opus Cementitium. That can we see on the third picture. <clears throat> the, the second and third phase are both dating from the 16th century. We are able to identify them by the different proportion and techniques to use. The second phase of construction is purely attributable to Bramante and refers to three central bays of the loggia. The space helps to the octagonal room. These are some archaeological investigation. <clears throat> Continuing the research, we are going to acquisition of the data by a TST total station. This instrument operating within a local coordinate system X, I, Z. Uh, all coordinates were uh, then reported into a system of absolute coordinates through corresponding relations with the GPS coordination. Then we measured using the serving instrument all the points that define the geometry and different elements of the building, such as edge, corner, key of the arcs. <coughs> The points misread by the tool have been printed in a desired scale, in plan and in elevation, on transparent sheet. These prints have been used as a basis from direct relief. Thanks to a CAD program, we have transformed the coordinates in four points in three-dimensional space. The points can be displayed by a graphic program uh, as a plan, perspective, or axonometry. The indirect survey is then integrated directly on the program from the data to the, of the direct one. After the past in the structure, we went to the philological study. The artifact of Abramante was compared with buildings and artifacts of that area. Here we can see drawings uh, of uh, in the, the central picture, um, are drawings uh, of Badlazzare Beruzzi and uh, the final picture. Uh, we can see the coverage of the Villa Madama Loggia by Raffaello, which is similar to the one of the Nymphaeum. 
The metric survey was then supplemented by photogrammic uh, survey. The photographic images were taken in order to focus in multiple frames uh, significant elements recognizable in the results coordinate system from the total station survey. In thus creates objective correspondence between the coordinates of the drawing and the pixel of the photos. Combining the traditional digital photogrammetries and spherical HDR images, you can reach quality of survey and the accuracy levels high, higher than a flat, two-dimensional photography. Also, this type of virtual exploration makes uh, more effective the educational aspect of the research. It goes finally to the modeling and rendering stage. First, by rebuilding the actual and real stakes tend to the acquired data. Photogrammetry allows us to create bitmap textures using the following rendering phase. Let us now turn to the hypothesis of recreation. The reconstruction of the cover has been simplified both by geometric accuracy of the accurate data and by the possibility to better calibrate the coordinates using control points. The digital model can allow also to measure heights, distances, calculating areas and volumes, automatically extracting edge vertices and faces that you see in shared edge. The final phase of the research consists of prototyping that is the pressing of real three-dimensional objects starting from the accurate data. We printed two prototypes. On one, uh, one that describes the actual state, the second represents the archaeological reconstruction of parts attributed to Bramante. The second pattern has been printed in three parts, the structure and the two covers after assembly. In conclusion, the field of archaeology and cultural heritage is one of the most fecund of modern technologies and offers the chance, the chance to experience a multidisciplinary approach. Our research, thanks to the merging into a single reference system, is distinguished by a geometrical global awareness and by a faithful reproduction. This helps us to distinguish between the real track and the interpretive reconstruction. Moreover, such the three-dimensional models and the subsequent prototyping offer other sensible advantages. For example, structural evaluation or material diagnostic using photo photogrammetry archive for the study or for the transformation of an object and uh, accurate uh, recreating or lost destroyed building. But last but not least uh, uh, is all uh, items concerning accessibility and the uh, usability of the research. The opera's representation offers a tactile experience that is very important for the blind people. The three-dimensionality vision creates a, a new empathy between the artwork and the beneficiary. Therefore, we are facing an effective knowledge dissemination tool and direct shared on a better perceived tool. And there is a selection of a major of our work and thanks for your attention.